Welcome back everyone, it's Guilty and this is level 5 of the Terra Hotel. Okay, the first thing we'll do is go grab this bug spray from the shelf over here. We'll need it for the next section. But for this section now, we'll have to do a little puzzle. So there's four paintings across the room and we'll have to go in order from the youngest to the oldest. So we start from that little girl, then we go over to this man, it's always the same order here, doesn't change. Then that kind of young man there, then there's this middle aged man over here. And then the last one's a really old man off to the left here. So we'll click all them and the door should open. You should hear it. And that's the first section done there. Okay, the next objective is to get three keys to unlock the padlocks. And to do that we require moth jellies. So there are seven moth jelly locations that could spawn, but they don't always spawn in all of them. It's random every playthrough. So we're going to check all seven locations around the map and I'll show you each one too. So the first possible location is just here. If it's not there, that's okay, because there are still some locations where it should be. You only need three of them. The next location is in this section here. In that case, it isn't there. Okay, our third location is just going to be over to the left here, and to the right in this room here. Now this is why we need our bug spray. We're going to use this to spray the moths, and it turns into some purple jelly. Now be careful too, because if you equip that and then you eat it, then it's gone and you won't have another one. You might need to restart the level. So getting that first one, we'll just need two more now. Okay, continue down this hole to the other side now. And we'll want to take a right in this next room up here. So they should have one just in the middle of the room there. If not, turn left in here. And there are a couple locations here. So one in that bathroom, just in front of the urinal here. We collect that moth jelly. Perfect. Now we just need one more. And then there's another secret little area here. So just up here. It's a bit of a long journey through here, but we get there. They could have another one just in this location here. So that will be our final one. And I'll show you the rest now. So we're going a bit insane here, but it's fine. It happens. That's why you need almond water all the time. For our last location it may be, just go into the room and in the corner there should be a jelly or a moth here. So once we collect all of the jellies, we're going to come over to this dumb waiter to the left. It's got a little sign and we're going to equip the moth jellies. Once we equip them, press F on the dumb waiter and it should send it down to the mysterious unknown. Whoever's down there likes moth jellies and will trade you a key for it. So there's a key on the bottom, and just rinse and repeat this two more times to get all three keys. Now with all three keys, come over to the padlocks again and press F on each one of these locks. Then the door will open and you can go to the next section. Hop in that elevator. Now this is going to be a tough part of the level once we get up here, it's going to have enemies. Okay, pay attention because this is important. So we're going to exit this and we're going to find these lockers here for like mailboxes or something. Now seven of them are going to be open and that indicates which room you'll need to go to find the letters. So I made this map here to make it easier to find all the letters. So in every room we check, the letters are going to be in the same exact spot. So all the rooms are the same and it's always going to be by this bedside table here. So in this case we got one of the letters O. I'm going to continue searching each room on the map until we find all the letters. And once we get into this room here, we can insert all of our letters that we've already got and that will save even if we die. So it's always important to come back here if you think it's not worth risking everything. So see how we've got the double O's? If we ever die, those rooms will reset to different ones but those O's will still be there. Okay, after dodging all the enemies and collecting all the letters, we'll put them all in here and it spells look up. So this is 17564, it's not always that number. But we're going to come over to that lock and insert it here. I'll put all the rest of the lock combinations into the description. I'll put the rest of the lock combinations in the description. If you're ever struggling with the monsters, just hide in the closet. You don't have to worry about shutting the door behind you, which takes a bit of time. And once we unlock this combination, we can step into the next level. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.